Hey everyone, it is a rainy, nasty day here in Minnesota. So today, what better day than to clean the inside of the car? With a little help from Sonax Alcantara Cleaner. I'm gonna show you how to clean the steering wheel, the shift knob, and really any other touch points that are Alcantara in the vehicle, including the dash pad, the door panels, the seats even. But today's video, we're gonna focus on the steering wheel and the shift knob. So, come on in. A few things that you're gonna need to get this done are a couple of different microfiber towels. I'm gonna use this microfiber towel here uh, just to kind of use as a backdrop when I'm spraying the uh, steering wheel down. Uh, you'll see it shortly here. Uh, I also like to use a waffle weave style microfiber cloth to absorb the cleaner and uh, any of the moisture that's on the steering wheel or the shift knob itself. I also like to use a sponge to apply the cleaner. Um, those are cool. Uh, detail brush, which has a couple of different uh, pieces to it, um, has some soft bristles, some, some really stiff bristles, and uh, then a couple of different, you know, different uh, cockpit brushes. That way you can really get into some of the nooks and crannies. You'll also want some distilled or bottled or, or some reverse osmosis water. Um, room temp or slightly warmed uh, just to kind of get things damp and uh, you know you can do that or you can use steam before you start cleaning and of course we need the Sonax Alcantara and upholstery cleaner uh, this is for sure the best product I've come across to clean Alcantara with one of the key focus areas on the steering wheel is the thumb hanger location this tends to get really matted down and really kind of collects the oils from your hands seemingly quicker than any other part of the steering wheel. Uh, especially around the touch points, you know, a lot of us drive like this, some of us drive like this, some hang our hands down here. Really the wheel gets touched all over the place. However, a lot of the accumulation of dirt and oils and, and grease, and hopefully you're not applying lotions and stuff, but I understand some need to, that, that'll that all accumulate right here. Uh, as far as the shift knob, usually around the top area, that tends to accumulate the most dirt. Typically don't have any issues on the shifter cover at all, but if you do, the process is the same. I'm gonna start by using just some plain water. Um, I guess it's not plain. So this is, I have a reverse osmosis system in my home. So this is filled with RO water. Um, you can also use deionized water. If you don't have that available, bottled water is your best bet. Uh, I would use it at room temperature or slightly warmed up. Uh, you don't want it cold. This is the alternative to a steam machine. I know a lot of us don't have access to a steamer or a steam machine, and this is going to be your, your alternative best bet. So what I like to do is I'll take a microfiber cloth and just kind of lay it across the back while I'm getting ready to spray those areas. And then same, you know, kind of covering the electronics. I'm just going to mist this stuff around. Uh, and then what I'll do once I'm done getting it slightly damp, um, I'll use this to dampen it. And then I'll lay this in my lap so that I'm not making a, a bigger mess uh, as things start to drip down. So I'm just getting this slightly damp. 
nothing too crazy. I don't want to soak the wheel. Uh, just having a little bit of room temp or warm water in there uh, to get things started. I will grab the cleaner from there and then using my foam block applicator, I'll just get uh, a couple of pumps on here. Um, you can use the microfiber cloth to kind of spread it around or just use your finger. If you're gonna just use your finger, um, you know, use a glove. You don't wanna technically touch all these chemicals, but uh, once you get that on there, you're just kind of applying the Sonax cleaner onto the steering wheel itself, kind of working, working it in. And this is just to kind of get the, the product in there, right? This isn't actually doing any of the real cleaning yet. We'll see that in a little bit. It's okay if you get some of this stuff onto the plastic or the trim pieces. It's not going to cause any damage to them. It's not going to discolor them or anything like that. Um, don't forget to hit the back side of the wheel also. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of uh, other Camaros. I've been in some Camaros where front side has been cleaned and agitated and they completely forgot to do the back side. And all that does is end up transferring that dirt and oil from the back side of the wheel back onto the front of it. So I uh, definitely recommend doing this with the car off only for the fact that <clears throat> you're going to be hitting these buttons, uh, the paddles, um, your turn signals, uh, things like that, your wiper blade. No need to have that stuff going off while you are trying to clean. Again, I'm just trying to get this kind of applied throughout. Get a little more on there. Sonax stuff doesn't smell too bad either. I mean, there's some pretty nasty smelling chemicals out there when it comes to car detailing or cleaning and maintenance and stuff like that. But this isn't too terrible. It's not going to leave a funky scent in your car after it almost smells like a let's say like a wood cleaner like an oil or anything like that but i don't know leave it uh in the comments do you tell me what is what does this sonax smell like to to everybody out there all right got some of it in there i'm gonna go ahead and grab my Stiff bristled brush. I'm going to apply some to the brush. I want to do that damp as well. Um, I'm going to focus on the matted down areas, like I mentioned earlier, the thumb hangers, the top area. Now, it's okay to use a stiff bristle brush here because the Alcantara is just essentially a synthetic suede. Alcantara is actually a name brand, and it's not a material type. A lot of people don't realize that Alcantara is a brand name based out of Italy, I believe. I'm sure somebody will fact check me on that. Um, but you, uh, it's safe to agitate this. A lot of people say use like a soft toothbrush or something like that. If, if your toothbrush is the only thing you have available, by all means, use a toothbrush. Don't use a soft one. You actually want to get something with a little bit of grit to it. So like a ultra stiff toothbrush would be better than a super soft one. And uh, all the dentists out there watching this who stepped away from their Porsches are yelling at me right now saying, you shouldn't brush your teeth with a stiff bristle toothbrush. But we're not brushing teeth. We are brushing Alcantara. We're trying to get all this dirt and stuff out of here. Now, luckily, 
My wheel is pretty clean. Um, you know, I don't go eat cheeseburgers and fries while I'm driving. I tend to not lotion my hands, which is terrible for my hands, but it's good for the steering wheel, I guess. Um, but yeah, you just want to agitate this. Make sure you're getting, getting all those oils, hand oils, dirt, lotion out of there. So I have this little brush here. It's got some metal bristles in there, which I'm not going to hit the whole thing with. Well, maybe I will. These are like a little little rubber nubs and this is for really kind of getting into the into the corners that you might not be able to reach with um, this is a great cleaning tool i'm going to have links for all of this stuff in the description uh, anytime you grab a link for my description and and purchase it that way it, it helps the channel it helps contribute so um, i appreciate that if you do get that damp again we don't want to do this stuff dry but I'm gonna focus again this stuff here on the high touch areas so I am trying to make sure that I'm not use uh, blocking the camera uh, and if you start to see your Alcantara start to pill up like this uh, that's okay uh, this is actually gonna, you know, gonna look worse before it gets better in some cases. But ultimately, you just want to get that, that matted section or the matted areas clean. Hitting these high, high touch areas. So if you get some of this pilling up here, uh, don't worry. That's that's actually pretty normal. You can actually see some of that dirt and, and oils coming off of the steering wheel here. Um, that's pretty pretty normal. Uh, you can use the little rubber nub side or just back to your standard cockpit brush to kind of clean those off. Um, and then what you really want to do is use the waffle weave style towel to, to kind of absorb just absorb the remaining alcantara i'm sorry <laughs> the remaining sonax that's in there so you, you want to use the the waffle weave style towel it just tends to absorb this alcantara cleaner um, really well. Now you're not really sc scrubbing it down with the towel. You, you did that with, with the brushes. Um, and as I mentioned here, like these matted down areas, you'll kind of see them start to come, come back to life. And that's when you can get back in there with the stiff bristle brush, kind of bring them back to life. Now, again, my steering wheel wasn't super dirty, so didn't need a whole lot, but 
you may find that yours is in real bad shape and you can continue to keep doing this until these matted sections kind of come back to life. Now this is still damp. So again, I just want to use the towel to absorb some of that moisture. If you have a vacuum or an extracting vacuum, uh, you can use that as well to pull some of that moisture out of there. I would recommend doing this when you have some time to kill, when you don't need to go drive somewhere. Otherwise, you're defeating the purpose. You're going to get the, your, the oils from your hands back into Alcantara. And then what's the point, right? Just don't all that work for nothing. So that is looking pretty good to me. We can move on to the shift knob. Okay, moving on to the shift knob. Again, I'm just going to use the microfiber cloth here to uh, block off the electronics from getting wet when I dampen it. I'll just get it damp a little there. And then I'm going to switch back to my applicator block here. Uh, use the small side here. Get some of the Sonax Alcantara cleaner on there. Apply it to the shift knob itself. You know, a little bit of agitation is fine, but this isn't really, this is just to help get it on. Uh, if you need better access, you can, of course, pull it down into fourth to get to the, you know, the back side of the shift knob or, or the front of the car side, or, you know, push it up into third to uh, get a better angle on it. Uh, once I do that, I'll grab my cockpit brush again and put a little bit on there of the Alcantara cleaner. And again, using this stiff bristle brush to agitate the high touch areas of the shift knob. You know, the shift knob isn't really that dirty, so this shouldn't take too long. Um, if your shift knob or your steering wheel or any of the other Alcantara in your car is really dirty, sometimes you'll actually see this cleaner start to, when you agitate, start to become brown. And, you know, if it's brown, uh, just keep keep going at it until it comes off white uh, or or less brown, I guess. But, um, you know, you may also want to consider cleaning your Alcantara more frequently if you are getting some brown residue coming off. Uh, and if you're still getting a lot of brown residue and you're cleaning it frequently, for the love of your Alcantara, start driving with gloves everywhere. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use my waffle towel again to uh, absorb some of this. Actually, you can see this was a clean towel when I started. You can see a lot of the dirt and oils that came off of the steering wheel when I was cleaning that. So again, we're going to use this like we're blotting a carpet stain, right? We're just using the waffle weave to absorb some of that cleaner. Now we're not using this to rub, um, we're just using it to absorb. Again, I like the waffle weave because it tends to absorb really well. Uh, if you use too thick of a pile or too loose of a pile of microfiber, it doesn't really absorb very well. If you use too much, like too tightly woven, kind of like this one here, again, it doesn't really absorb very well. Um, this here seems to do it for me. The waffle wave is, is one of my favorite microfiber towels. These are actually great for glass as well. Uh, not with the Alcantara cleaner, obviously, but to clean glass. Um, it's looking pretty good. 
still a little damp. Uh, we'll continue to just kind of use the microfiber towel to grab that and absorb. But then we should be good. Should be good. Again, the process is the same for like your dash panel, uh, your door panels, your seats, headrests, all that. Just a little bit more matting in here. That I want to try to get out this particular part of the steering wheel. And she's done. Much better. Much better. That's it. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the video. Really appreciate all of the support for the channel. I couldn't have got here without all of the support from all my viewers, all my friends, all my family. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I'll have links in the description of the video for all of the products that I used. Purchasing through those links definitely helps the channel, helps support the channel. Uh, and also, if you like what you see, check out the channel. If you like what you see on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I found out that like 80% of my audience is actually not subscribed to my channel. So if you like what you see, give it a subscribe, watch some videos, doesn't hurt. So I will uh, catch you in the next video. See my son Al over there. Not sure if the camera picked it up, but just got back from a bike ride. The Sonax Alcantara and upholstery, upholstery cleaner. This is for sure the best product I've found to clean microfiber with. A big booty Judy. The help of this Sonax Alcantara cleaner, the remaining Alcantara, I'm sorry, <laughs> the remaining Sonax that's in there. Again, don't forget. Don't forget the backside. <laughs> Everything's soaking wet here, so. Just dampen that knob. That's fine. Shut the door. Thank you.